Here are three secrets to how to improve your communication skills and how that's going to impact the trajectory of your business. Now, one thing that I realized very early on in my career is that communication, being able to communicate what is going on through your mind to um, the person in front of you is obviously very important. And I started you know, reading some books around communication and I started looking at different things that had to do with persuasion and how to com not only communicate what you're trying to say, but it communicate it in a way that the person in front of you is going to even understand what you're talking about. And oftentimes, um, we've probably thought of things that sounded so cool or sounded so awesome in our head, but then as we started speaking them out, they just s sounded like they just didn't make any sense. And it's very important that you can communicate what you're thinking about, especially in business, because when you are in front of somebody that, you know, if you're trying to uh, get a loan, if you're trying to uh, uh, maybe hire uh, an A player, uh, if you are trying to uh, make sure that you, you know, take, bring on a partner or something like that, it's very important that they think highly of you. And, you know, obviously appearance is one thing, but the way you talk and what do you say uh, is going to make or break the deal. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe and also drop in the comments. Let us know what questions you have about this specific topic or other future videos that you'd like to see from this channel. So the very first thing that I want to go into uh, is this silly thing that I came about two years ago, um, and that is the use of smiley faces. Now, I know you're gonna probably laugh, but what I realized is that something about smiley faces, and although that they may seem not professional at times, and you probably don't wanna put them in emails or so on, but with the world going virtual, and with us simply you know, texting and, and, and SMSing and all that stuff being just the thing, and even emails are getting shorter, and you know there is no more intro and outro like "hello, this is blah blah blah" or like "best regards, sincerely" or any of that is just like a sentence, and then you send it out. Um, the conversations have have been getting pretty casual, right? And one thing that I realized is that regardless what you say to the person in front of you, even if you literally cuss them out, if you put a smiley face at the end, it'll just make it that much less of a like they'll take less offense. And if somebody, like just think about the scenario. Um, when was last time you offended someone or you said something to someone, whether if you cussed them out or whether you, uh, you said something bad to them or you fired somebody in your business or you broke up with a girlfriend or boyfriend or you, know, you, you yelled at somebody or whatever, but through text um, and how they took it, right? And usually after that first like offense happens and then that first attack, their shield is up and then they will not literally consume anything else from you and then they're just defending themselves and then they are just literally offending towards you, right? But something that I realized, the power of smiley faces, it, it, it just, it's so incredible because um, something about it that literally I've used many times and I will, you know, say for instance, uh, just recently, and I'll actually tell you this uh, short story, uh, about two, three days ago, in fact, um, a student of ours um, made a, a negative post in the, in the community group, and it just it had nothing to do with the program. It had nothing to do with anything. They were just vetting, and they weren't inventing about like their business or anything. It was just completely negative, and it was just very weird. So we took down the post, and then I sent them this long message talking to them about our culture and, and our community and our guidelines and everything, and then simply said, if you, in a pretty harsh way, said, if you keep this up, we're going to kick you out for right now. You've been temporarily removed from the Facebook group. All I did is I added a smiley face at the end. And they came back to me um, apologizing pretty much and then explaining how they, you know, it was just a, a, a bad time and, and they apologized because they really weren't thinking about it and so on. But then thinking about it, if I had taken out that smiley face, the conversation would have literally taken a whole different route. And so something about smiling faces. Next time you feel like you need to fire someone, say something harsh to somebody, and you're like, man, I just don't know how they're going to take it. I don't know how this conversation is going to go. And again, uh, uh, um, you know, it needs to be over text, right? Because you need to have the smiley face there. Or just be smiling as you are delivering the news, the bad news, right? Just be smiling like this and then just simply say whatever it is that you have to say. <clears throat> Uh, 
The second thing that I want to talk about is that is very important is understanding who you're talking to and who they are and what kind of language they use. Are you talking to someone that likes to use cuss words? Are you, are you talking to someone that is very, um, you know, uh, very professional and they use big words and all that kind of stuff? It's really important that you understand that other person because that'll again make or break the deal. And you want to make sure that you speak their language. Again, we are talking about sitting in front of people that you look up to, whether they are mentors of yours, whether it's the bank you're trying to get a loan from, whether if it's, you know, uh, an A player employee that you're trying to hire in your company, or, you know, again, you're tr you need a strategic partner or you need a, you know, a shark like Shark Tank, uh, someone to invest in your idea and your business. You know, you want to start an online business and you know that it needs $10,000 and you don't have the 10,000. And then now you're sitting in front of your dad's cousin's friend or something uh, who's a multimillionaire and you want them to invest in your idea. Look at how they talk. And usually what I like to do is I like to open the conversation and ask questions and let them talk, right? Because you want to get a sense of who they are and what is the language that they are using for them to, or for you to use that with them and start talking the language. Again, if it's somebody that uses, that likes to use cuss words and F words and F bombs and all that stuff, use that in your word as well. Don't be the banker with the suit and, 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 and tie and uptight and then talking to them that way and vice versa. You know, if you are the person that likes to cuss all the time, but then you're sitting in front of a banker, you probably don't want to do that, right? You probably want to hold your tongue because you want to impress this person. And there is nothing better than using other people's words. If they use the word uh, awesome, if, you, if they use the word great, if they use the word impact, if they use the word focus, if you talk to me, and you're having a conversation with me and you use the words focus, you use the words simplicity, you use the words impact. It's like me speak, you know, it's like you speaking porn to me. It's like the best thing ever. It's like I will be so into that conversation that nothing will ever draw, draw me away from it, right? Because these are words that I use in my day-to-day -day every single day. These are words that I use in my business every single day. So if you speak those words with me, I will just be all focused in your uh, uh, um, you know, in your conversation. So it's very important that you get the, uh, you know, the, ex the, the undivided attention and focus from the prospect that is in front of you. And the only way to do that is to speak their language and to understand how they're talking and then simply use that language to speak to them. Now, again, if you're enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to the channel and also smash that thumbs up button because it just helps us rank in the algorithm. The third and last thing that I want to share with you guys today is a concept that I just came about not too long ago, and that concept is listen twice as much as you talk. When I was able to take this concept and implement it in my life, everything changed in my life, and here's why. Six, eight, 12 months ago, well, even three months ago, I was the type of person that if I sit in a room, and other people around me make, or I believe that they make less than me, I felt like it was my obligation to preach. I felt like it was my obligation to inspire them. I felt like it was my obligation to show them what is possible. And, you know, thinking about it, it came from two places. It came from one place of bragging, and then the other place of truly caring about people and really wanting to impact their lives because I knew that it's possible. And it's like, if you're making $5,000 a month and I know you've got the potential to make 20, I'm going to tell you. But then what I realized is that telling people doesn't work because people do not like to be told, right? And the other thing that I realized is preaching to people also doesn't work because you might be passionate about what you're talking about, but they probably give half a shit about what you're talking about, right? So what I realized is that if I just listen to people and let them talk, one thing that I realized I was doing was that I was finishing their sentences, was that I was cutting them off, was that I was speaking over them, was that if we sat for one hour, 50 minutes I'm talking and maybe 10 minutes they're talking. And every time they talked, I just wasn't really interested in listening to what they were saying. Instead, what I was interested in, just talking over them and just getting to my point not their points, because I thought that my points more, were more valuable, were more valid, and were more interesting. But I was 100% wrong. Because going back to conversations that I remembered over the last years, I realized that I sounded like an asshole that did not give a shit about them and only gave a shit about themselves. I sounded like a self-centered, 
person who literally cared about nobody but themselves. Although that was not my intention, but this is how I came off because all I cared for was me. It was all about me. I'm here to preach to you. I'm here to tell you how my way is better than your way. I'm here to tell you how I have accomplished great things and how you can also do by, by listening to me, right? So now what I do is that every time I walk into a conversation, especially that I know that the person that I'm going to be walking into is probably an important person that I would love to learn some things from, right? So what I do is I ask questions and I let them talk. And I only talk when I am asked questions and I never preach, right? And I make them, even if I'm not interested in their conversation, I make myself like I am just simply because you can learn from everybody. Even if I am making a million dollars a month and you're making $2,000 a month, we and me and you have had different and very unique experiences. And there are things that you've gone through that I haven't gone through. And there are things that I've gone through that you have not gone through. And I can, you can learn from me just as much as I can learn from you, right? So just understand this thing is that everywhere you go, everybody around you, you can learn from them regardless where, you, where they are. If, you, if your goal in life is to have a six pack and then you are talking to somebody who is, you know, 50 pounds heavier, doesn't mean that you should not be taking any health tips from them because maybe because of where they are today, they've gone through some things that you have never gone through or will never go through. And then just a small five minute conversation with them by you allowing them to talk, they will give you a tip that will help you tremendously. So my last thing and probably one of the most important is speaking or listening two times as much as you speak. <clears throat> now again guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did please smash that thumbs up button if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel also let us know in the chat below which of those three were the top you know wh which one was your top and also what questions you have about this topic would love to see those comments below see you in the next video take care